Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about shoes. I'm going to be criticizing, oh wait, no, I'm just going to be giving you my opinion about um, actually colors of shoes. I, I'm not sure what the designers are thinking these days, but um, it's a little interesting and unique. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get going here, um, I want to actually thank everybody for uh, getting me a coffee. Um, I've actually uh, gotten a lot of coffees, and I greatly appreciate um, everybody contributing to my black coffee, dark roast, small size, have it every morning. Um, if you want to contribute to uh, the network, the website is buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin uh, link is below all right thank you so much I like it scalding hot if you guys don't didn't remember um, so real quick housekeeping um, things for everybody remember teachers used to say that we go housekeeping today just want to get this out there and make sure everybody hears this and uh, and get it done so uh, you guys know that I did a contest last week with some Vabalot strings. Uh, I kind of prematurely put that up and some people got mad at me. So, but, but, um, once they give me the green light on it, I will repost that one uh, probably in a few weeks. Uh, but I do have winners for you. For those of you who did enter, um, so I got three winners from the YouTube side three winners on the Instagram side. Um, YouTube side, Jason Mathinson, uh, Magma, M-A-G-M-A, and then Troy Lim, okay? You guys, I sent you guys a text. I sent you guys a thing through YouTube already. Just respond to that, okay? Or just read that and respond to that and give me your address. On the Instagram side, um, Freddie Loves Tennis, add Ewan Ninstar and Jez, Jez Z A M I C A, Jezaminka. Um, going back to that, it's A D D Y O O N I, I think it's O S T A R. Uh, is my guest, but um, I've already contacted you guys and you guys have already uh, replied back to me with your information. Um, I'll list the winners also on Instagram. Um, but congratulations, you will get a set of string uh, sent to you real soon. Okay, so today's video is actually going to be about shoes. Um, as you can see by my current shoe wall, which is ever changing uh, because Shoe, shoe colors and styles uh, change pretty often. Um, I mean, like shoes, like like this this new uh, Wilson shoe. That's not the mock mock, not the mock. This is not a mock uh, Wilson shoe. Anyways, Swift Chaos Swift is this shoe. I just pulled out of my 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 head. Not not even had to read the box. Chaos Swift. So it's a new style of the shoe, pretty white, right? It's pretty appealing to most people. Um, but when you start looking at other shoes, you're like, what were they thinking? Um, on the men's side, it's really not too bad. I mean, um, I mean, this, this one is like Land of the Rising Sun. It's for Tokyo for the Olympics, so. I get that you know this is a bold statement um, in color and fashion um, most people when they buy this they really get um, razzed by their friends like what you're gonna you're gonna fly on the court um, were you on fire you know but but I get it you know I it's, it's Tokyo Olympics man this is a Tokyo Olympic shoe and color uh, this the new solution FF uh, excuse Solution Speed FF. I like that color a lot. This is a retake or a remake of an older color. Um, I want to say five years ago. That actually did very well. Um, 
pretty conservative here, uh, except for maybe the red, but most people are gonna get this, this, that, this. Um, and I mean, I would say the men's colors aren't too horrible. Uh, they've gotten a lot better in the last few years. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but Babolat's gonna be making a lot of conservative changes in the near future with their shoe. Um, this actually isn't horrible. I actually like this color a lot. Um, K-Swiss, usually pretty conservative. So the man's side of the wall is actually not looking too bad. I mean, these are the Rush Pro 3.5s. Those will, those will sell. And they, they also have a white version and a black or navy version coming out too. So I like that. I like that they throw that W in the back. Um, now, the women's side... Um, so here's the thing about a hundred people have walked in here in the last year and say, Hey, can I get this in a 10 and a half or 11? And I was like, that's a women's shoe. Yeah. So even when I first saw this shoe, I was like, that better be for men. My rep was like, no. I'm like, why would you make a Navy shoe and not make it for men too? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, that men love, but that's a women's shoe. Uh, not to say that the women didn't love it. Um, they did love it. I only have this one pair left, but um, it's, it's something I would wear. I love this. This color is for women and it doesn't sell. Women don't even look at it. I open the box and they're like, oh, nope, nope, mm -mm. can't do it, can't do it. I actually like this color. Look at this, it's kind of a hot pinkish deal. Uh, definitely men won't buy that. I might wear it, but um, you know, but women for some reason like, oh, I'm not that good. Oh, I don't run that fast. And I'm like, don't look down. Uh, is it comfortable though, is the question. Um, for some reason, these Cord FFs um, don't interest the women very much. Uh, they're not comfortable on their feet. I would say men understand the shoe more and uh, they want that kind of um, tightness around their whole foot uh, more than the women. So these Cord FFs don't do well uh, on the women's side, especially in that color. The white one sold a lot better with those uh, navy stripes. Uh, that, that color is actually doing okay. Like for some reason, the trend this year into next year is gonna be kind of this plaster, plastic, greenish, uh, bond, is it bondle this color? Uh, yeah, plaster color, mannequin color, I guess. I don't know, whatever its color is but it's kind of a tealish blue um, going into next spring, 2022. A lot of the stuff is gonna look like Miami Dolphins, if you know what I'm talking about. A lot of oranges and teals uh, will be coming out. So, but that, that grows on women. I have to say that grows on women. Like their first reaction is usually eh. And then like, as they touch it, feel it, um, put it on their feet, it's like, that's not bad. And I would say about 60 to 70% wind up um, buying this color. Not, maybe not in this shoe though, but like these two colors are more so. When they first see it, they're like, I don't know about that color. And then like the more they look at it, the more it's like got that puppy dog look and they try it on and it's like, yeah, I'll, it's acceptable, it's fine and they wind up getting it. Plus they saw the pros wearing it in, uh, in the last tournaments. So that helps a lot in that marketing too. This pink seems to be more acceptable, a little bit more acceptable. There is not as flashy as this, a little more conservative. Women would buy that a little more, a little more. So again, that is a women's color, navy with the pink. I'd wear that. I'd wear that. Um, women, eh, it, this one is 50-50. You know, when I see the pink, 
you're like, yeah, I wish it was something else. But, um, you know, if it was the last color up there and they needed the shoe, they buy that one. All right, so Babylon's best-selling shoe is this shoe. It's white, guys. And it's called the SFX, uh, third generation, SFX 3. Uh, I kind of sell these to the wide-footed people um, in this white color. They have it for men, too. Uh, looks like I'm sold out of it for men. But the men's colors are like a, a black and a navy. And those sell really well, too. So they keep this SFX line conservative. And people um, do buy it. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of black and pink for women. I just think they go well together. But for some reason, our customers don't think the same way. They don't like that combination. Um, I want to say only 10% of the people say, oh, that's cute. Um, I, I'm okay with this, this combination on this shoe, but I don't know. It, it doesn't sell. I don't know. It, it's, it's one of those things that just doesn't work for some reason. Um, oh, speak of uh, Cord FF for women. That's just the color that sold really well for women. So... I think there's like one left of this one. Uh, the Speed Chaos. The Chaos Crazy uh, Fast Shoe from uh, Wilson. So that's the women's color in this shoe. Do you guys think this color will sell? I didn't think so either. But it's here and it's a statement. Uh, you know what I mean? So. I've had somebody in the local college uh, team buy it, and uh, um, they liked it. So, remember, Velcro, no, no laces on this one. Um, speaking of Miami Dolphins, a lot of the shoes will look like this coming up in the next year. We got gonna have that teal blue with uh, kind of that orangish red on the on on the trimmings. But this is pretty conservative for Mizuno and um, a lot of white, which helps a lot. Okay, so uh, that's the Miami Dolphins. For some reason, purple has been very popular lately. Um, I don't know. It's kind of growing on people, but it's kind of taken two years to grow on people. When I first whipped out a purple shoe, they're like, no. Except for that person that loves purple, which uh, for some reason aren't a lot of females out here. Cotton candy, anybody? I call this the cotton candy colored shoe because that's pink cotton candy with blue cotton candy with uh, teal cotton candy. Uh, it takes a special person to wear this shoe for sure. But fortunately enough, 10% of the people do like this color and buy it. See, look at the, look at the sole even. Now, it's a good thing that, you know, K-Swiss does pretty conservative grays and whites which helps me a lot because that sells. We're starting to implement a little bit of color in there with the yellow, which is still fine. Um, this is getting a little bit outlandish for them. It's, uh, that's kind of a 50-50 color. Uh, either you love it or you hate it because this is kind of a weird looking pink here, even though that's a normal pink. But, you know, the men's, are okay. The women's are kind of all over the place. Just so you know, in the last 17 years that we've been in business, uh, when I first got here, I want to say 80 to 90 percent of the shoe wall used to be white. As we've progressed um, in that 17 years, uh, it kind of first took place with the men's side. On the men's side, it was like 80 percent white. Uh, and then it became 70% white, 50% white, 40% white. So the white is kind of been shrinking when the colors have been coming up. So white is still definitely a staple in a tennis shoe since the game, you know, white, you know, white shoes, white clothes, Wimbledon, right? Um, on the women's side, it's kind of taken a little longer to get to the, the more colors, but you can see though, it has grown. So I would like to say that I, 
I want to say 40 to 50 percent of my shoe sales um, are indeed still mostly like white or all white shoes just because it's kind of a tennis mindset that um, I should wear ten, you know white shoes to play tennis um, I wanted to show you a couple last things before I I go um, this is my sale rack and I want to show you why these are on sale um, that's not horrible, but that's for a woman, okay? I thought this would do a lot better, but it wound up here. Uh, this definitely for, I would say a 12 year old or less would wear it. Who wants to be fun? Uh, but you know, that's kind of like why this wound up here too. show you something else that I thought would sell I actually thought this shoe would sell in this color like I you know a woman with a little navy and pink kind of brought brings out you know two good sides of this color this like was a big flop this color just like everybody saw it and just no and I'm like really um, I mean but this basically flopped this color did not sell like like didn't sell at all. You, you saw it on clearance in um, all the online places too. Now this I knew was gonna be a flop, but I wanted to just see how well it would do. Um, I call this the 49er shoe because you got your gold and red and then a lot of black. This is kind of like their away uniform, if you know what I mean. So, but we know why this is here. Wrap it up. And it looks like that's about it. So that's my opinion about shoes. What's your opinion about shoes? Do you think the guys um, in creative should uh, be a little more conservative? Or do you think they should keep the wild side up? Uh, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.